the, the first one we're going to taste is the 16 years old, which we have just launched this one. So in terms of an age statement uh, range, this is our sort of oldest age statement that we've got. <clears throat> Obviously, you're aware we're celebrating our 18th anniversary today. So this is the 16 that was just launched um, a few months ago and it's got that real typical, lovely, fresh, fruitiness. This is a, a fantastic mix of bourbon and sherry casks and it works really, really nicely with the add and, and the 16 now is testimony to that as well. So you're still getting you know, that nice dryness a little bit coming through from the sherry casks, but then that nice fresh vanilla notes as well coming through um, with the, the fresh bourbon. And it's just such a nice balance. And it's bottled at 46% as well. And I, I just think that, you know, you can add water to it, whichever way you want. I always think it's, it's recommended to taste it first. Always have a sip and then thereafter, depending on, on, on how you like to taste it. There are some days I'll have, you know, our 14 year old and I'll add water, some days I won't. So it's, it's, it's all about your judgment and, and how you want to, to taste it and enjoy it as well. Um, but I, I really like that sort of minimum 46%. It gets a, a nice spicy kick to it as well. And that's again, what you really find going through the Aran malt at the back of that. Obviously, it's got the maltiness to it, but you're still getting that nice fruitiness coming through, and that spicy kick is there in the base. And so then it's being, you know, it's been brought out more so with the maturation from the casks. So, it's Lange. Yeah. of the master distiller comes in because he has to taste all of these casks, he has to monitor them, he has Lucky to decide man. and then like, what, what a, a job, horrible job. job. Yeah. Somebody's got to do it. <laughs> so well, it's too it. Hard. Somebody has to do it and somebody has to know what they're doing and do it well. This has been in a quarter cask for a year and if we're going to do a quarter cask, cask finish it'll be a year, it'll be left in for a year because we reckon that it takes a year for the, for the full, full sort of to get the full benefit of the quarter mm -hmm. cask. Three, three months we think, for, for our whiskey it's too, it's too early. Yeah. We, we don't, mm -hmm. You don't get enough of a reaction in the first three months. Yeah. You need the full, full year to do that. Mm -hmm. Okay boys. Mm -hmm. It's not a way out of the game. So this is our 1995 Bradman cask. And John here is it a wee bit. Don't yes. <laughs> well, it should be a <laughs> But whiskey, um, sniffing or tasting, it's very, very subjective. It's what you get out of it, which might be different from what I get out of it. I've, I've got a few things written down and hope that we can maybe discuss it um, and maybe you can introduce other flavours, but I'll give you a start for, a start for ten, <laughs> as it were. Um, 
Det är inte en draft, så är det här sys. Det är draft. It's quite, it's actually quite complex, and at one on one level, it's quite simple. Again, I really do feel that the the Arden flavour, the the fundamental Arden flavour, comes through, but it's quite complex and different, totally different. But tongue changes from each time, like. Talk to different levels. Yes. <laughs> well, it, it will. The sweet. Somebody said that. Last the night. the <laughs> sweetest receptors in your tongue and the bitter receptors, they're all being activated at the moment. So, yeah, it'll, it'll attack different parts of your tongue. Yeah. That's there's the exclusive. No. <laughs> that, that's, that's there's no right or wrong, as I said at the beginning. No. Whiskey mm. drinking is what you get. Yeah, it's very what you subjective. Get. And I don't like the word expert about anything because mm -hmm. nobody knows everything. Yeah. So the word expert should be sort of taken out of the Absolutely. dictionary because. Uh, You're an expert, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> the first spirit ran through the stills at 2:29 p.m. on 29th of June 1995. So here we are, 18 years later. Uh, quite incredible. I, I joined the company. I used to work at the Spring Bank Distillery down in Campbelltown. I joined Aaron uh, when I was seven years old um, and I joined it because it, I tasted the whiskey. I came here and I thought I had a, a huge amount um, of you know, potential. At that time the whiskey was still quite young but I tasted it. Um, I tasted a lot of different stuff and I thought this, this whiskey is going to be something special and I think it now is something pretty special. Um, we have a lot of great people working for the company and uh, we're all very, very passionate about it. So we've got a lot of uh, great supporters out there and it's great to see you. so many of you have made the effort to come across to, to Loch Ranza this weekend. Um, as you probably know, we make three different types of spirit at the Aran Distillery uh, now. The classic Aran is unpeated and uh, that's about generally 70% of our production. At the moment, this year we're making 400,000 litres uh, of pure alcohol and about 70% of that is classic Aran unpeated single malt. 20% is uh, malted barley to a peating level of 20 ppm, which will eventually become Macri Moor. The Macri Moor you're tasting at the moment uh, is about 14 ppm but since 2009, we've increased the peating level to 20. So it's on a kind of level with, with uh, Bowmore. Since 2011, we've also been making malt uh, based on peated malt at 50 ppm. So eventually there will be three different styles of Aran. Classic Aran unpeated, Maxi Moore at 20 ppm, and then the heavily peated, which uh, is of a name and uh, a style that we're, we're yet to kind of discover. But we do know that the, the samples out of the cask at the moment are already bloody good. So it's going to be a great whiskey in a few years' time. Um, we'll probably, probably bottle it when it's minimum five or six years old. Um, but that'll come on stream in, in a few years' time. But I'll pass around. Um, this is got different samples here. That's the, the spirit of, of Aran single malt, uh, the new make spirit at 68%. That's the classic Aran, unpeated. This is the Aran peated at 20 ppm. This is the malt at 50 ppm. You see, it's got a bit of colour to it. That's been in, a, in bourbon casks for six months. So I'll pass that around too. So that's the um, the 50 ppm you make spirit as well. So this afternoon we're tasting some of our oldest casks, um, some of our rarest casks. And, and we think some of our finest casks. So it's a, a chance this afternoon um, to really assess, compare, contrast. What I'd like you to do is score each whiskey individually. Try not to be driven by age or profile. Just, just judge it on its own merits. So score each one out of 100. What we'll do is we'll, we'll total up the scores and quite simply the cask with the, the highest score will be the cask that will be bottled uh, as a single cask for the festival next year. And all of your names, as I say, will, will go on the label. Um, I'd like you to nose it, taste it, write a tasting note. What are your impressions of this whiskey? What, are, what is the flavor profile you're finding? What are the aromas? What is the palate? How is the finish? This is a 
1995 cask. This is a, a bourbon barrel from the, the year that we opened. It was filled in November uh, 1995. So it's just, just sh at the moment, just shy of its 18th birthday. I think there's a temptation when you're doing this kind of thing to, to kind of favour the oldest, but I don't think that's necessarily the case. The oldest isn't always the best, you know. In all my years of doing this, you know, there'll be certain casks where just there's, there's the perfect interaction between the, the, the whiskey and, and the oak. And it's not necessarily about age, it's just, just can be just a sort of one-off. I taste oat cakes. Oat cakes and juicy fruit. When I joined Aaron, I, I, I'm no expert, but I, my, my perception was Aaron would be at its best between, say, 12 and 18 years. You know, it was a, a lighter style of spirit, takes a lot of influence from the oak quite quickly. Um, we kind of wondered how would it be between 18, 20 and older. But this, this sample here really gives me confidence that the spirit can go on and on and really, you know, develop and engage and go on and, and become get a, a real depth of character to it. You know, that's just, just shy of its 18th birthday. And I, th I still think that's a lovely fresh whiskey. It's not, not too oaky. There's, there's oak there, but it's not overpowering. It's just uh, the Aaron DNA is, is, is very much part of the, part of the story.